Here in Dallas, you're looking at a lifeline. Difficult problem along the U.S.-Mexico border, 500 miles away. A problem not easy to simplify. We just cannot continue to put band-aids on this. And must be addressed by President Biden, says UNT political science professor Matthew Eshbaugh Soha. Surges happen at the border. And this is ultimately a function of our failed immigra immigration policy. A historic migrant surge not seen in 20 years is overwhelming federal resources. Families and adults are being turned away from the U.S., but unaccompanied children seeking refuge due to hurricane damage in Honduras or violence south of the border are being taken in due to a recent Biden policy change. As of Tuesday, more than 13,000 kids are in U.S. custody. Housing facilities like this one in the Rio Grande Valley are over capacity. So up to 3,000 migrant male teens are coming to the K. Bailey Hutchinson Convention Center. 200 are expected Wednesday and FEMA is running the show. This, this is an incredibly, incredibly complicated situation. Once in Dallas, SMU law professor Natalie Nanancy says federal authorities will work to release the teens to either family in Texas or to a sponsor as they wait for their immigration cases to proceed. But that could take some time. Some immigration attorneys are saying children are being held for days at the border. Right? We have to make sure that the people who are taking them um, are, are safe people for them to go to. This lifeline is meant to be temporary, but right now it's not clear how long it will be needed. Boy, Matt, uh, this seems like a massive undertaking. Are, are there enough people to oversee 3,000 teenagers? Well, the simple answer to that, Chris, is it's being worked on. Sources in D.C. tell us that the staff to children ratio here at the convention center right now is 8 to 10. So the American Red Cross is working to find volunteers to fill the gaps. We also learned in the last few hours that the federal lease on the convention center for this particular situation, 75 days. Also, Governor Greg Abbott will be here tomorrow to address the children uh, coming across to the border, the migrant surge at the border. He's already been pretty critical of the Biden administration. In Dallas, I'm Matt Howerton.